Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my process for going over my readings and taking notes from online lectures. And this study with me video is special because it is for my first ever college class. I'm starting off my first summer session of classes with just one class, which is an introduction to black studies. This is a class that goes over the history and culture of black Americans. And so far I found it very interesting. I signed up my, I signed myself up for three different summer classes basically as soon as I decided I would be attending UCLA. And I'm really glad I picked this one as one of the general education classes that I'd be taking. Now that the protests surrounding the murder of George Floyd and other incidents of police brutality have brought the issues of Black Americans onto the national stage, the topics covered in this class are more relevant than ever. If you have the opportunity to take a class about a marginalized group within the US or within your own place of origin, I highly recommend it. It's a great way to learn about the historical roots of the issues we currently have to deal with and expose you to more of those modern day issues that you can help with tackling. For example, the reading I'm currently annotating on screen right now is about the historical development of the field known as Black Studies and the current debate about what kind of angle any sort of research should be going at. Besides being academic in nature, it also gets at the current social debate of whether groups of color and other marginalized groups should seek to integrate themselves into mainstream society or whether they should try to establish their own institutions or whether they should reform current institutions. Anyways, now that I've rambled on enough about the content of the class, let's go over what exactly I'm doing to study and learn this content. This class is structured into about 18 different lessons. This class is only six weeks long since that's how summer session classes work for UCLA. So each week has three lessons. And the first thing I do for each one is to go over any of the readings or required screenings. In this particular lesson, lesson number two, there was only one reading. So I'm just, you know, reading through it and using my iPad to highlight the text. I find it really helpful to actually annotate something by hand, even if it's digitally, so that it feels like I'm actually interacting with the text. Also, marking out the main points and interesting commentary are really helpful for the assignments and exams in this class, which are mostly discussion boards and written essay exams. This will help me go back to reference these later for any textual evidence or main concepts that I might need to remember or to cite in my essays. I don't really have a particular rhyme or reason to the highlighter colors I'm using. I usually just play it by ear once I get into the reading and get a feel for what it's about. For example, for this one, the purple is for the purpose of the text and blue is for historical examples. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about the apps or accessories I use for iPad annotating, I will leave a video about that in the cards and the description. Okay, before we start with the actual note taking tips, just look at how shiny this is. I love my metallic marker. Anyways, the next task that I'm working on is watching a lecture video. This class is completely online and it's asynchronous, which means that the lectures are all pre-recorded videos that I can just watch whenever I want. I don't have to show up on a class Zoom call or anything. Before I start the video, I start by writing out my signature calligraphy header. I honestly messed up quite a few times. I'm getting a bit rusty because to be honest, I haven't written with calligraphy pens or even just tried to write neatly at all for quite a while. Let it be known that all handwriting skills and studying and note-taking skills really are based off of practice. I can testify to this because after quarantine essentially ended my high school years, I basically didn't write by hand or study for about three months, and coming back to it, I'm definitely getting pretty rusty. It also doesn't help that college professors teach these video lectures at a significantly faster pace than high school teachers, and it seems that they generally don't have any sort of PowerPoint lecture running behind them that tells you exactly what you need to write down. 
Luckily, I've gotten practice in understanding the main points of audio as we go because I've been vaguely obsessed with podcasts for like four years, so adjusting this hasn't been too bad for me. But overall, that's probably a skill you need to practice as you transition from high school to college. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more of my study with me videos, I will link some in the description and the cards on screen. I also upload new videos every week. Also, if you'd like to see photos of my notes and bullet journal, you can check out my Instagram at studyquill. See you next time! Thank you.